Well, hello and welcome. My name is Andy and I'm the host of Feel Good on Kaya 959, 12 to 3 weekdays. If you're not listening, what's your problem? Why don't you love yourself? Okay, then. So you're going to tune in? All right. Listen, welcome to the first ever Girl Let's Talk Roundtable. So this is where we get together as the girls. We try, chat all things juicy, spicy, empowering, healing conversations and everything in between as well. And it's a safe space for everybody. So I want to see your com- com- comments on the comment section there. And let's chat as girls. You know what I mean? And it wouldn't be Girl Let's Talk if I don't bring my girls from Kai 959. Okay. Hey, girls. Hey. Hey, hey girls. Hey. Hey. I'll start with you. <laughs> Who's the host of Kaya Biz? Hello, Mel. Why are you sounding so serious? Because Everyone I'm does serious. that when we talk Kaya Biz. Hello, Mel, I'm talking to you. I'm a sex my posture. I'm not there. Exactly. Okay, okay. Tell me how the rain's doing. Uh, <laughs> I'll hear on the radio. Okay. Dinny Dineo. Swiri, swiri. Swiri, swiri. Also, Madonna. Mm, the one and only. All the sister of the nation. It's so great to have you. Thank really you. and truly. Thank How's you. How's breakfast going? Um, it's going very breakfasty. It's sizzling. <laughs> it's sizzling over You're there. serving. It's lack. Oh, no, we're serving. I love it, man. We're serving. They I can't stop it. talking about us. That's how much yeah. we're serving. Like, yeah. And that's a good thing. If they're yeah, not yeah. talking, it's a problem. No, no, no. no. you got to make them feel hear. something. Okay. Mm, yeah. And the third Indeed. lady. Pindi Khutba. How Hello. are you, man? Hello. Host of Mo and Pindi. Oh, good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah. I'm good, man. Good Happy to be here to be on here. a day other than a Sunday, right? Yes. Yeah. It actually feels strange to find normal people. Normal people. You know, during the Week. And people in the building. <laughs> because Ooh. weekend, it's almost like we have ghost, ghost town. Yes. Yeah. You know what I'm yes. saying? I love so it, it's man. good to be around normal people. I love it. Ladies, thank you for being here. You're I just welcome. want you to know, one, you must be selfish with the space. It's just us girls. It's a safe mm. space. And just talk about your experiences, yeah. okay? Oh, my God. Hey! hey. hey. I don't know what to do. Some of the cameras here. Or just, you know, it's just, that's just that's right. Yeah. So I want to start off with what makes you feel good. Just in general, on a daily basis. What is that thing that just makes you feel like, mm, life sucks, but it's not that bad. Mm. Mm. Cool, mm. so stop with you. Sheesh, Andy. Mm. <laughs> Tough one, because it differs on the day of the week. Yeah. But family, because mm. that's the only thing that's consistent in my life. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, my dad listens to the show. He's an I don't know, no. And he shares like, his criticism sometimes. Mm. Stop ah. saying this so much. Stop doing <laughs> that too much. But good show. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, yeah, but family. And I think it's quite important. I guess it's one of those things that keeps everybody grounded. Yeah. yeah. And a sense of direction and purpose in life. But yeah, family, the people around me, and the things that I do. I I'm like very that. deliberate about making making sure that whatever I do is something that I'm fully invested in. So, mm. yeah, it makes it a little bit more easier to wake up in the morning, even mm. on the difficult days. Mm. Mm. Yeah, mm. I like that. Danielle? Uh, peace. And uh, it's, it's going to sound wild, right? Mm-hmm. But it's really, truly who I am. Possibly a toxic trait, but it, it makes me feel super good. Mm-hmm. Um, being able to be toxic to the face of toxicity. Ooh. Mm. Yeah. Girl. So middle finger um, to the middle finger. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I really, I really middle finger to the middle finger. Yeah. I'm not Jesus Christ. I'm not Mary Magdalene. Yeah. So yeah. Living, <laughs> ah, ah, so, to save the world. yeah, you know, yeah, so yeah. living my life in my own truth. Mm-hmm. That makes me feel good. I like that. On a daily basis. On a daily basis. When I'm having a down day, it's a down day. Mm-hmm. Let me be honest about it. And let me be sensitive towards those that are around me on the down days. Mm. Um, I think peace makes me feel really, really good. Mm. Contrary to popular belief. I really adore peace. Mm. I think it's... Yeah kindness makes me feel good i like that it, you know engaging with human beings from a place of kindness moving in a bubble of kindness that mm-hmm. makes me feel good and not being abusable mm-hmm. that makes me feel super good like sure. yeah. i love carrying that attitude with me mm. it's like a hard thing mm. right and people will label you when you're that person but mm-hmm. it makes me feel super good mm. to know that as i move don't come at me sideways mm. i won't take it won't tolerate it won't stay for it will mm-hmm. leave for it and that's peace mm feels good i like it so you yeah. walk around with a brief this is yeah. who i am no tolerance right yeah, I want take 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 it. Take it. no i love that thank you so <laughs> much let's not you. get it twisted yeah. let's be clear and cut about it just come at me peacefully mm, mm. and i will give you what you the seeds i'll give you the seeds that you plant in Absolutely. me i'll multiply them and that's sure. just me that's just like my dna sure. be it professional relationships even with family it doesn't matter that's just my dna through and through that's my ethos like for mm. me Yes, plant mm. seeds, let me nurture them and be just be sure that they're healthy seeds. Yeah. Because mm. I just want to multiply health. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, multiply yeah. health. Pindi, mm. what makes you feel good? All right. So for me, it's it's a bit of both. Yeah. I, I think I'm similar to um, Gugu as well. Ke- my children. Mm. You know, when my kids are happy, guys, I feel good. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I feel like I need to do anything and everything in my power to make sure that my, ki- my kids are in a safe space, mm. that my kids are happy. 
that my kids are fulfilled. Mm. And I think um, I had to grow in this space mm. because obviously before you have kids, you really never know, you know, how to navigate being a parent. Mm. But I found that over the years, when my kids are happy, content, satisfied, I feel good about yeah, myself. I love that. But also I love spending time with me. I mm. find that when I'm in my space, when I'm spending time with myself, when I'm taking care of myself, yeah. mm. um, which is very difficult sometimes when you're a parent because your life is all about other people. Yep. It's all about giving and, and giving in of service. yourself and, and, and. Yeah. Um, I've come to a point in my life where I give myself time. Mm. I lock my door sure. and I tell them, you can't come in my room in the next hour because I need to have my moment. Yeah. Mm. Setting up boundaries. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Sure. Solitude, it's, it's, right? It's, it's not easy mm -hmm. as parents, but I think over the years I've learned that if I don't do that, mm -hmm. they will always ask something of me. Mm -hmm. So I always make sure that I give time to myself. Yeah, I like that. I'll tell you what makes me feel good. It's very frivolous and it's slightly selfish. So I have little sisters, right? And they came into our lives and one was two and another one was about uh, nine, right? So when they met me, they asked me what my name was and I told them my name is Beyonce. <laughs> so what makes me feel good is a phone call from them to say, hey, Beyonce, I'm like, oh, yeah. you got it, girl. Oh, <laughs> so scan people as much as you can. So oh that makes God. me feel good every day. They ask lots of questions. Just really great people, right? I want to move on to just talking about growth, right? Yeah. And yeah. I don't know if you ever do this exercise. You know, I like to go through photo albums and see, you know, my past, my history, what I look like. And, you know, you have that moment where you look at your pictures and you cringe a bit because... Why did you have black wow. liner around your lips? <laughs> yeah. Why so much blush? Uh, why did you remove your eyebrows? You know, questions you're having about your looks. But also, there's questions around who you were at that point in your life. Mm. Right? Yeah. And the choices you made. Mm. So I'm going to leave it there. And I want you to listen to this. Just put your headphones on for me. And then listen to this one. Yo, it's so sensitive and goes straight to my heart. I can say it's my family. As a matter of fact, I confidence and I lack a lot of trust when I make special friendships, even if it's some seventeen, even if it's sexual. I think now it's been almost nine years without a friend. I'm not easy. Good relationship because I grew up physically being abused emotionally and physically. Good relationship, I don't tolerate a tone. Don't have a tone when you talk to me because I refuse anybody that takes the power of me speaking my my mind and being standing for my rights of what I believe and what I feel. So sometimes I just walk away without just having anything to say to you because I know when that panic comes, I don't want to react in any way but i don't want to be scared of anyone so it's just so sensitive what you just spoken about but mm. yeah it's life all yeah. right so let's talk about it let's I talk relate. about growth right oh, wow. yeah so what behaviors situations did you allow when you were younger mm. that now that you are where you are you do not allow once you smell a whiff you, you call it out and you leave you vacate the situation i'll start with you guys Nah, start with the... With the <laughs> yeah. And I'll tell you why. I yeah. guess um, I'm aware that I've grown and I've evolved in mm -hmm. different ways and that there are certain lessons. But I think how I'm wired mm -hmm. is probably very different to Austin. And I think that's like the beauty of how we are as human beings, yeah, right? Um, is the fact that I always approach things with the purest of intentions. Yeah. But bear in mind that the road to good intentions also takes you to hell. That part. Mm. And um, what I've learned sometimes is that in approaching things from a good heart mm -hmm. um, and being extra careful with people that not everyone's going to extend the same amount of grace to yeah, you. Yeah. And that does require a greater level of maturity, of mm -hmm. heightened levels of assessment mm -hmm. in terms of determining, okay, who is, for lack of a better word, worth this mm -hmm. level of patience, mm -hmm. worth mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. level of extension that it is that I'm offering them. And sometimes you can draw the boundary, but I've found that we are humans, right? And we're fluid in nature. See, mm -hmm. now I'm dropping the lines that you've dropped. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And being yeah. deep and full experience. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And ahead. that's exactly what happens to people. Sometimes mm -hmm. people change and they evolve. But I guess the decision ultimately still lies with you. But I guess what I'm trying to explain is that I can't necessarily pinpoint to one particular example. But for mm -hmm. me, I guess it's a matter of boundaries, of learning the fluidity of life, people mm -hmm. and their experiences, mm -hmm. and even the fluidity of self. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That sometimes there are things that I tolerated at a point in time in my life mm -hmm. because, you know, I, I was actually fine with it. Yeah. And that's OK, because yeah. I acted from a point where I worked with what I knew. I worked with what I had mm. and it worked out to be the best decision that I could take at that time, at that point. even if the consequences resulted in mm. uh, uh, worse off outcomes. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I guess it just speaks to where I am now. 
that I still speak, stick to that ethos that, you know what, I might have my past traumas, but I try to approach every situation. Yeah. Number one, according to my wiring, which is doing things from a place of good yeah. intention. Mm -hmm. Number two, uh, assessing the individual, the purpose, the place, the thing. Yeah. And number three, you know, evaluating it then with the heightened level of knowledge that I have now. Mm -hmm. So... Will I regret this when I'm 40? I don't know. But you know what? It's working right now, mm. Andy. But I am cognizant of the fact that there are consequences that I need to be mindful of. Yeah. But I do my best not to carry a badge of honor of being suffering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Know. yeah. You know, learn the yeah. lesson, yeah. move along. Uh, so that unlike the listener who shared a voice clip, you know, you don't stay stuck in it and mm. have it then damage further relationships absolutely. or opportunities that yeah. might come about. Mm. Absolutely. This is so funny because on my way here, I was talking to a friend of mine and we were talking about some of my past experiences that are very traumatic, yeah. right? Mm. And um, how Ostezi and I, who's my house help, right? Mm -hmm. And she's my child minder and like literally my older sister. Mm. She's mm. just like literally everything for yeah. me. Um, she raised something today that could have easily made me cry mm. that could have easily broken me because this is traumatic memory but we burst out in laughter over it we were mm. like oh my god Whoa. we yeah. have lived the wildest experiences yeah. mm. together mm. like this was literally the wildest part of my life and you got to experience it and we were laughing yeah so then i ended my conversation little stacy got onto a call with this friend of mine and we're talking about how i intentionally can not allow myself to seize driving because I was involved in an accident. Mm. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. The yeah. sooner I get, I get back behind the wheel, mm. the better the process is of healing. Mm -hmm. So for me, the first thing to do is always to accept and the things that I don't tolerate, that I used to, and I don't think I tolerated when I was younger. Mm. It was respecting my parents, right? Particularly mm -hmm. my father, mm -hmm. when he would feel offended by the fact that I may have a difference in opinion from him. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a no-go zone for me mm -hmm. in my life. We are different. Mm -hmm. We think differently. We feel differently. We, we consume information differently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As much as I respect your difference in opinion, please respect mine. Yeah. As much as I respect your points in an argument or in a moment of conflict, please respect mine. Mm -hmm. Right. As much as I respect your way of living and your choices upon your own life, mm -hmm. please respect mine as well. So I have a very low threshold for tolerating people that expect of me to be the way they imagine me to mm -hmm. be mm -hmm. for them in their lives. Once again, fluid, mm -hmm. yeah. ever changing, ever yeah. evolving. Yeah. Right. Um, one moment fit perfectly in this bottle, mm -hmm. take this water out, put it in a glass of a different shape. It takes form to that. Mm. Yeah. Very adaptable mm. and very literally ever changing and ever morphing. So for me, when you start wanting to box me according to your own expectation and demanding respect from me mm. instead of earning it mm. by virtue of respecting my differences yeah. from yours, mm. then we've got a little bit of a problem. Mm. But also like the, 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 the caller who called in, I think it's important to heal from those things. Yeah. I think it's very, yeah. Yeah, so they don't affect yeah. the rest of the relationship yeah, yeah. that you might have in your life. I think it's very important to accept that this is how things were then, mm. but I'm not going to cease to be joyful mm. and merry in this mm. present moment mm -hmm. because whatever it was that was toxic that happened then is not necessarily happening now. Yeah. So accept, mm. yeah. have a burst of laughter, right? Mm. Enjoy the moment and just like literally live from mm. a place of purity, knowing mm. that you approached even what would seem as my dad, we would think that I was being disrespectful, mm -hmm. but I know that I was communicating with my dad from mm. a place of purity and mm. a place from ultimate respect, just hoping that I could trust yeah. that he would mm. appreciate my difference in opinion. Yeah. So it's, it's an ongoing cycle of learning. just growing, learning, learning. and learning, learning, yeah. and learning, learning Absolutely. and learning, accepting, not accepting, but you find your balance yeah. ultimately. You yeah. know what I always say is that, you know, healing is your responsibility. Yeah. You, can't, you don't choose the package that life comes. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? However, the healing part that's you and yours because it, that's where you get to decide how life you know continues yeah. mm. all of, you know and, what I mean? and also mm. in order for you to heal you need to accept what has happened yeah. and exactly. i think the reason why it's so sure. difficult to heal it's because we have not accepted 
our past traumas. Mm. We have not come to a point where we said, okay, this happened, yeah. and this probably was the reason it happened. Yes. Mm. So I have to accept that I've gone through that for a reason. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You have a valid I, I, point there. And I think I just want to jump in yeah. and say the reason. Sometimes mm. we're too scared to accept uh, our level of accountability. Yes. yes. Oh. That you are yeah. participating. Listen. Acceptance is so sure. good. I've, yes. I've made decisions in yeah. my life where when I think back now, I'm like, oof. Yeah. Mm. You were completely I was involved. responsible. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah, part yeah. of that whole yeah, yeah. decision. Sure. You know, I cannot Complicit. shift that blame to somebody else. Yeah. It was me. Yeah. I was yeah. part of it. I was part of it. I need to accept mm. that at one point I yeah. made that mistake mm. so that I can move on. Mm. Absolutely. You know, but in terms of, um, you know, l- things that I've learned over the years, year, kind of accepted. Mm-hmm. For example, I mean, for me, it was, it was so hard saying no. You know, when I was growing up, yeah, yeah, I kind of felt I need to agree to it because my siblings need to be happy, hey. my parents need to be happy mm, until I grew and I was like, no, I can't do this. Mm-hmm. I can never be just for me to make everybody help yeah. happy, and I'm forgetting my About own yourself. feelings because it's important to consider how you feel yourself. Mm. Um, that I know there's a thin line between that and being disrespectful. Yeah, um, I grew up. My, I mean, there was a point where I kind of felt. You know what? They need to know. I need to verbalize mm. it. Yeah. I need to mm. say, mm. I cannot do this. Mm. And there's nothing wrong with just saying, you cannot. Mm. And obviously growing up, when you, I mean, when you say that, your parents in particular would kind of feel like, ah, you know, you're being Who rude. Are you? yeah. Yeah. Or you're being yeah. stubborn yeah. and all of those things. Yeah. But I've learned the hard way over the years to say, sorry, Actually, that one I can't do, mm. you know? You know, when we're speaking about acceptance, healing, and um, accountability for your own contribution to your own pain, right? Mm -hmm. Or the demise of what was Mm -hmm. um, something happy or something that you would hold on to in your life. Like, there's a post that I put out on Instagram. Um, It was, uh, I can't remember his name now. I'd have to go back and make Mm -hmm. reference to it. But it was a video that I had found on TikTok. And it was this gentleman talking about praying over your relationship, romantic relationship, Mm -hmm. right? And... Um, being very prayerful about the choice you make in your partner. Mm. So don't choose from your hormones. Don't choose emotionally, yeah. but choose yeah. spiritually. Mm. And I, it was in that moment when I watched that clip and the reason I wanted to post it so badly was you need to also look at yourself and say, I made that choice. Mm. Yeah. So I, did that. Was, I did that. Yeah. So in, it's in, important, yeah. yeah. This was in context of my demise marriage, yeah. right? Mm. And I had to look at myself and in the journey of healing and forgiving self, mm-hmm. yeah. I had to look at myself and say, but I was an accomplice in all of this because mm. I ignored A, B, C, D, and E. Yeah, mm. I was emotional it. about yeah. A, B, C, D, and E. Mm. And I made my decision based on A, B, C, D, and mm. E. And here we are. Come on. And here we are. Mm. And I think it makes healing so much more fun yeah. Yeah. and less burdensome. Right? Yeah. When you look at yourself first in the mirror and say, well, I pulled the trigger. Mm. I'm the common denominator. I'm the common sure. denominator here. It's not so easy, though. It's not easy. That's what I was about to say. It's not easy. It's so much easier to say it was him. Right? Yeah. 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 You really need to extend the heightened level of grace yeah. towards yourself. Yes. Um, oh, and gosh. hence, I feel, if you know that at the time, the things that you were complicit to, and even the red flags that you ignored, perhaps did come from, because you know how we are as women, yeah. right? Yeah. We prioritize our heart over our head sometimes mm, in relationships. Yeah. Um, and that there was hope that things would change. Mm-hmm. I understand that that's who you were then. That's yeah. how yes. you process things yeah. then. Hoping for a very different outcome because nobody gets married to get divorced. No. no. Nobody mm. starts something beautiful no. only for it to end in tears. Yeah. You know, so so I think, yeah, extent, uh, number one, the accountability, but the extension yeah. of grace yeah. to self. Is so to much self. And so I, very I also, so also understanding where you were mm-hmm. because yeah. I think we, we become so hard to ourselves. And not even understanding that actually I was in my early 20s. Mm. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? What did you know? I yeah. didn't know any better. Guilt. Very true. The guilt, the guilt, guilt though, eats you up, guys. Oh, gosh. But where do you get the tools when you don't know? You just don't That's know. That's the thing. You know solitude. I mean? yeah. You get the tools from solitude. I don't think there's any other space that will mm. give you tools to yeah. navigate Oof. through your life mm. than what she said yeah. at the beginning. Spend time by yourself. A lot of people are not spending time with themselves. And you know why? <laughs> Sometimes when you spend time with yourself, you don't like what you see. Yeah. You don't like what it's you like see. A bit too much, and okay. you're like, ooh, yeah. no, let me rather yeah. be with people yeah. because I'm safer there. Yeah. I can and actually hide. Yeah. You understand? Oh, gosh, and a yeah. song goes so SpongeBob SquarePants because at some point you're just mm. sponging. Yeah. I'm sponging yeah. traits from her, mm. sponging traits and from you're trying you. trying to be everything. Traits, yeah, you're trying to be everything to yeah. everything. You're sponging, sponging, sponging. Now you're being from SpongeBob SquarePants oh. to chameleon. Yeah. To now everything. Where do you really sit and say, hey, listen, this is 
know thyself. Sure. Mm. I, I believe in the only maths and science in life for me mm -hmm. is isolate to elevate. Come yeah. I cannot present myself better for you when mm. I've not spent time with me. Mm. How am I spending time with you when I don't even know how I even like to spend my time? No. I don't even know how I like to spend my time, but here yeah, I am exactly. overextending my time to you. No mm. way, doesn't work like that. Yeah. Not for me, yeah. at least. And yeah, but right. we, we, we learned that, guys, uh, later on in life, you know, sometimes I wish I knew all of this before. Yeah. Because but then would you have lived your life the way you have? <sighs> <laughs> I suppose. No. So I guess. Would you be the woman I that you are? I guess making no. mistakes yeah. is, is part of the game, right? Yeah. It's part of growing up. Yeah. Oof, yeah, but sometimes I'm so glad to. that we're actually touching on relationships because I want to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. oh, Do you know what the term building a bob means? Bob the builder. Ah, yeah, yes. I'm a bob the builder. Are you a bob the builder? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so Danielle, yeah. des describe what bob no. the builder is. Bob the builder for me <laughs> is not throwing money at love and romance mm -hmm. and you know using money as a tools or a means to get to a certain level, mm -hmm. but it's truly keeping yourself vulnerable and open mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to actually build the relationship mm -hmm. and what it takes mm -hmm. for two people mm. to become better versions of themselves mm -hmm. and to create a life together. Mm -hmm. Any man that's dated me will tell you, they will label me the most toxic black woman mm -hmm. in the country as much as they want. Then do you try and but they, you build not, they do not know me intimately. Yeah, intimately, yeah. I am a Bob the Builder through and through. Mm. That trait, there's no hurt that will change that about sure. me. There's nothing. There's sure. nothing that will take away the humility for me to be of service in a relationship. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that, there's no pain. There's no, there's wisdom that will be applied. Mm -hmm. There's caution. You know, we move differently mm -hmm. now that we've been hurt. But I'm above the builder. Mm -hmm. Like for me, we're seasonal in relationships, mm -hmm. right? Sometimes your partner, it's okay for them to have a down season and off season yeah, and yeah. you need to rise to the occasion yeah. Yeah. to be there to hold the fort for your partner. You have your down seasons. Mm -hmm. It's this dance of Let's do this thing called life mm -hmm. together. Be if it's reciprocal. If it's yeah, reciprocal. Yeah, but that's a problem, uh, if Tineo, it's re because reciprocal. Yeah. The, uh, yeah. The problem is usually it's not. Yeah. You know, um, and if you have a heart like yours, where everywhere you go, you want to... You wanna you wanna, wanna get a fix. project? No 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 I'm not, no 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 I'm not a project <laughs> person. Please like understand. You, project manager. No. Project manager. No, because you. no no. Please please do deeply understand yeah. me because I don't want this to be confused or taken yeah. out of context. Mm. I'm not fixing men. Mm. They are not broken tables. There's mm. no builder's warehouse that I can go to find on, you builders. to fix a broken <laughs> man. There's none. Yeah. I'm not fixing broken mm -hmm. men. But I'm saying in a relationship, it's you important to, to understand to that mm. there is a, an amount and we call it work. Mm -hmm. It's not work. There's an amount of service that is required of you mm -hmm. for it to be blissful, mm. especially when reciprocated. Yeah. And that is what you call a Bob the Builder, mm. not this thing of fix a man. No, no, no. I see project Yako. But when before we get into mm. this, I want you. Headphones on. Okay. One more time. One more time. Last one. <laughs> Everybody's headphones on. Three, two, one. Hoi. I am as le and as my quarantine, but let me start. My end. I think go right to Keza um to the right person at the right time. But the problem you won't see is this a right one or not? Hey, my story. Let me summarize it. When again is Tandilabo Black. Beautiful. Hey, um shambo black. Um shambo black. He abo brown. Hey, abo abo nimpigo. As in the brown dash, man. The black dash. Abo brown. God, I don't be dead. Don't get dead. Malabu ya. Now that I'm too unjeng, I'm fun. I'm alive. Be cool. We'll go to maybe act on a ah. We can't look sad. So abe, abe, and the so bend the pin the nange mini kamande never. From black to brown dash. Brown dash. Ah ah. So have you ever been above the belt? I think I think there's a difference here. Yeah. Um, a lot of people they look at it from a point of view of um, project, um, yeah, yeah. project managing project a man guy. For men. Because personally, you can never change a human being. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never. Um, Especially if they don't want to. No. Yeah. Human being, God is there to <laughs> change people. Mm -hmm. With all honesty, if you get into a relationship with an aim of you're going to be my project, mm -hmm. then you're going to have a problem. Mm. Because this is where frustration comes in. Because you can't change someone who's not willing to be changed. Mm. And you can't spend your years in a relationship project managing mm -hmm. a human being. Mm -hmm. You know, that is a problem. Mm. But it's one thing 
to come into a relationship and both of you are working towards a common goal. Mm -hmm. And it's not one person, it's you both That's working towards exactly. a common goal. That's that is needed. Building. That is important. And Be I like the, the, the emotional aspect that you're both adding to mm -hmm. it, right? Because I think so often there's been this perception that Bob the Builder is, as you say, yes. throwing money at the Throwing yeah. money, yeah. cleaning him up, yeah. dressing yeah. him nice. Yeah. 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 And I think it goes back to what you no. said. You mentioned something so critical, which was vulnerability. Mm -hmm. And I think that's something that we often take for granted when it comes to relationships. Mm -hmm. Everybody thinks about intimacy in a sexual yeah. form as well as yeah. conversation. But when you really need to be vulnerable with someone, it's really going back to number one mm -hmm. what is the basis of this relationship yeah. what are we building what are we building? Mm -hmm. building um and of course also if we are building these are my flaws these are where are my shortcomings and mm -hmm. these are the opportunities that i'd like to tap into so i found and from what i'm understanding as well as you highlight this bob the builder theme a vulnerability is the thing i think sometimes that most relationships mm. actually lack yeah. because we meet each other as expectant projects where people yeah. are complete sorted healed fine mm -hmm no past traumatic experiences mm. and we lack the opportunity to actually sit down and say, you know, Andy, I might sit and talk confidently about these numbers. Mm -hmm. We might wake up early in the morning yeah. and, you know, broadcast uh, with excitement. But these are the things that actually kill me inside yeah. mm. or that hurt me or that, that, that mm. speak to my weaknesses or mm. these are the fears that I have about being a parent, mm. about a, a loved one, a wife. Mm. Uh, and, and that is actually, again, where you say the work, the self-service yeah. yeah. to actually yeah. say, okay, mm -hmm. let me walk with you on this journey. Absolutely. What are your insecurities and how do I mm. help you in making Absolutely. But then how? how do you now not make that emotional labor where you are now the emotional, yeah. you are the carrier, you're the, the crutch and you, know what I mean? you are the one fixing yeah. a Because there's, there's a line. Being. I think uh, there's no formula. Yeah. Mm. There truly, no one, I don't think I've had conversations with my parents mm -hmm. forever about relationships and they've been together forever. Like yeah. literally they, I think they've crossed the 45 year mark yeah. now. Mm -hmm. oh, wow, awesome. They're approaching literally nearly 50 years of being together. That's amazing. There's no formula. Mm -hmm. It's this dance that you do with your partner, mm. right? It's in your, your, it's, it's in your value system, mm -hmm. right? Are you aligned within your values? Mm. You mentioned, yeah. are you guys building towards a common goal? Do yeah. you even know what that common goal is? Do you know that what that you common both goal are is? Building towards? Sure. Yeah. For all the sex that you might be having, mm. how much of constructive talk are you having? That part. Yeah. When we speak into each other, mm. I feel like sp having conversations, intimate conversations with your partner, that's like prayer yeah, yeah, yeah. over the both of you, mm. right? Because prayer is not just about getting down on your knees. It's literally about being vulnerable mm. verbally mm -hmm. and to an energy, yeah. mm -hmm. right? Whether it, your energy is God, whether it's nature, whether it's Allah, mm -hmm. whatever it is that you both believe in, you're pouring into that, right? Mm -hmm. How are you aligned in terms of how you want to raise children, mm. how you see yourselves financially, yep. how you yep. see yourself socially, mm -hmm. your bad habits, spiritually. your I vices, mean, mm. spiritually, yeah. all of that. For me, that's where the work needs to be done. That's where the building happens, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? Not this thing of, I hate the way he dresses and mm -hmm. No, no but, yeah. but that's the values fickle. are somewhere yeah. else. That's fickle. But you know, sometimes you don't find each other at mm. the same place. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Sometimes someone can offer you the most incredible emotional intimacy. Yeah. However, they're not where they should be or they could be um, mm. in their career, in their life. They haven't found that aspect of that. So then you by default somehow get into Bob the Builder mode. You understand? Because yeah. you see, you're an incredible person. You could be X, Y, Z. Yeah. You understand? Sometimes you find that, yourself. Andy, you know what mm. I mean? The truth is the person needs to want it badly themselves. Mm. Exactly. And I yeah. can speak mm. for that on my, you know, I think about my experience when I first met, um, um, woo. Hey, speak hey, up. Hey, okay. Okay, cut, cut, cut. It's about to be a name. That person. It was about to be a name. When I met him, I was very girl. Girl, let's talk. Spill it, baby. We'll be back right on the Go, go, it's only the better for When you met that one. When you met, yeah. And you know when you see someone who sees a little bit more in yourself yes. they allow you to become more of yourself mm. but you need to want it so yes. all the additional resources that people can put into play and say okay this is how i can assist you mm -hmm. you need one you need two you need three mm -hmm. but unless you're the one actually plugging into them you won't be able to unpack that potential yeah, yeah. yeah. and i found that for me and i remember at, at one point you know there were often comparisons or conversations where people would be like oh you know i tried to introduce so and so to this that and the other and they didn't take it up yeah. as much as you want to and it always goes back down to the person mm. you can Take want the horse mm -hmm. to the river, but do they want to drink? Yeah. You can't mm -hmm. force them. So mm -hmm. in as much as you might meet someone in a relationship, 
even in friendships sometimes it happens mm-hmm. too you know or business partners yeah. where you're trying to pull out yeah, someone's potential so oh, mm-hmm. and it's that like can be so draining true. exactly yeah. so that person needs to want it for themselves and mm-hmm. that is also part of the process again as you explained mm-hmm. not fitting into a box you know experiencing the fluidity of life mm-hmm. um, yeah. and being a co-creator of the life yeah. that you want yeah. to live Together, because I think yeah. so often especially as women, you know, the mere fact that this conversation has already transcended into relationships, mm-hmm. it just shows mm. you how much of a waiting relationships tend to have in Absolutely. our lives. Yeah. That it influences yeah. so many aspects. But mm-hmm. before yeah. you even get to that place with that person, mm. um, whether it's marriage or not, you do need to be able to identify what is it that I want? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Am I willing to get it? Whether this person is with me or not, but if this person's yeah. participation and uh, presence in my life makes mm-hmm. it slightly easier because they're a voice of reason, a voice of motivation, yeah. they've got yeah. access to the necessary tools that I need, Mm-hmm. Then, then you, you need to have. act on it. But and how do you ensure the success it. of Bob the Builder, PD? I want to come to you because you you are within yeah. marriage. It's you know I you w- guys I are building together. Of course. How long have you been married, by the way? Eighteen years. Eighteen. Yeah. That's incredible. Yes. Sure. So I just wanted to go back to your question, mm. though. You mentioned something about how do you still become that form of support yes. to your partner, even though they're not or they well, haven't reached not, yeah. their goal. I think it's very important. One. You don't need to meet someone because they've already made it yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. in life. Mm-hmm. There are successful relationships of people that have met and they've mm. been building together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But what is important is what we just mentioned. You all need to be on the same page mm-hmm. as to this is what we want. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it's very important that the person who hasn't really made it to whatever point are part of the equation. They yes. are building with you. Yes. You are not building and then someone is destroying and mm. you're building and someone... Mm. So it's uh-huh. important that you are on the same page uh-huh. and that person is building with you. Uh-huh. Because and I cannot be... I cannot be looking for a job for you and hey. you are sitting and, oh. and, and watching hey. TV. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Uh, okay. <laughs> no. We need, we need to work so together here. Yeah, yeah. You know, I can't be the one... Because for me, the, 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 the Bob the Builder becomes a problem when you build... Mm-hmm with someone who's not building with you. Mm. Listen, in life, across the board, mm. whether you like it or not, you're above mm. the builder. Yeah. You're well, m- listen, whether you like it or not, mm. your employment contract here, hey, at 958, hey. Hey. you're going to be above the builder. Mm. Yes. Okay. Those links, mm. you are, you you are, are not you are here. True. Right? No, no, <laughs> true. You think you're here for you. <laughs> you know where the danger is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, you know where the danger <laughs> is. <laughs> It's your party. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, we are in this thing. All of us, we are, we are building. Yeah. We are taking this brand to higher Ooh. heights. Everybody does you their part. Yeah. Yeah. And it's with friendships. Same. With uh, employment relationships. Mm. Whether you like it or not, baby, get mm-hmm. outside of your ego. Tap into humility. Let me yeah. tell you something. You were designed to be a Bob the Builder. Mm. Male, female. There is no relationship in your life that will not work if you're not a builder. Mm. No, you, you need won't go anywhere. You need patience. You need humility mm-hmm. like literally what's the word copious amounts yeah. of humility mm-hmm. right yeah you have to mm-hmm. you have to be understanding that you're a vessel yeah there is a message that ought to be delivered through you whether it's going to work out mm-hmm. or not mm. Mm. but you need to take a risk sign the contract and move yeah you will find out sure. in Pambil in yeah. Uguti actually yeah. know and don't be shy while you are building to yeah. cancel a project for yourself yeah. but for I, yourself yeah. i also think you know it's also important to understand that everything we do is a risk yeah being married to somebody There's is no a risk. formula yeah. falling in love with somebody is <laughs> yeah, a risk. Yeah. you know it, childbirth is a risk yeah. you don't know whether if i fall in love with this person you can never say for sure even your parents being married uh, 40 number of years mm-hmm. you can never be sure when you met that person that that person was gonna be was gonna safeguard your heart. Mm. You mm. meet a person and you trust and hope that you don't destroy my heart. Yeah, yeah. So life yeah. is about that. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. it's about a gamble, mm-hmm. and it's either you win or you don't. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, we're all hoping that we win mm. at the end of the day. And but if as you, you lose, said, yeah. please don't be bitter in your losses. Nah. Mm. No need, eh? Mm. Yeah. Because as we said, we were all complicit. At yeah. the end of the day, hey, yeah. Yeah. you are participants. You cannot be fighting that mm. you made Blackie Brown <laughs> <Brandish>. when you <laughs> are the oh, one. Blackie Dash. Dash. Yeah. Yeah. They don't ask you to make him brown. But yeah, so most of the time, Vele really about Blackie. They don't ask about you to make him clean. Don't. We are the ones who are offering. But Absolutely. you know what the problem is as well? 
and this goes back to financial terms, mm. you're expecting a return on investment. Hey. And you constantly think that this thing, because I did this and mm-hmm. invested yes. in it, it needs to be mine. No, and sometimes baby. life doesn't matter. You know, you're entitled to that. You know? Sure. sure. I love that's that we're sad. getting heated about this. And I want us to get as heated because, I mean, we're all women in the entertainment industry. And I'm going to start with this. When did you realize that you were either underpaid or that you undercharged? Because that's a big realization. Ish. And you have that experience <laughs> at some point in your career. How do you know? Do you, know? you, you look How do you know? <laughs> no, 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 trust me. I know. <laughs> guys, I think yeah. that's the worst I'll experience, start with guys. Me. I'll start with me. For me, but it, was, it was by pure mistake and by the grace of God. Somehow, <laughs> somewhere, somebody left their invoice. And I was like, okay, all right. We do the same job. Okay, all right. Okay. I need to make some adjustments. And then I went to management, made, had some conversations, and they were like, no. I am this is of you. No. Because you took the first step, which is actually trying to address it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I didn't say this is No, but then you can say you saw somebody's slip. So I said, um, I would like I to don't don't need, and you know, uh, this this would be my proposed sure. don't don't. They were like, no. And I was like, okay, sharp. Now I know where I stand. So when did yeah. you realize? Sure. My goodness. Hey, that's, that's a <laughs> it's tough a trigger, one, man. Yeah? It's a trigger. It's a, it's it's a, a tough, tough one, one guys. In which scope? In the radio scope? I think I... Any I, scope. Because in any scope do, across the board in yeah. business, um, I think it, it's... The, reali- the realization happened way, way earlier. Mm-hmm. Has it been corrected? Not yet. Mm-hmm. Because it's, it's, it's an ongoing... Yeah. Conversation. Systematic conversation. Oh, absolutely. It's absolutely. very, very sure. systematic because it's not just about gender, but then race fits in oh there as gosh. well. Oh my gosh, yes. Age, so much. Age as age well. Too. And then outside of race, gender, age, mm-hmm. you're dealing with nepotism. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and. So mm-hmm. from, a, from an entrepreneurial perspective, it's just a wild conversation. But from a broadcasting perspective, mm-hmm. I sit in this chair. Well, I mean, I think I've met my, my, my ideal pay grade, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. I'm still undercharging. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I think I'm undercharging on the basis of Okay, cool. This is your first rodeo as a as a, as a breakfast anchor. Yeah. Mm. Flagship show. Yeah. Mm. Flagship show. You yeah. still have much to prove. Yeah. You still have many boxes to tick. Mm-hmm. When you tick them, we're revisiting that conversation. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I mean, I've met my pay grade. It's a healthy one, right? Mm-hmm. However, it is not what it's my still, truest mm. value is. Mm. So I'm the realization is definitely mm-hmm. I'm I'm realizing I've realized that mm-hmm. girl you're under invoicing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But for now, for now, for now, management mm. must know it's a pending conversation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And as healthy as you can possibly have it with management, mm-hmm. have it mm. continuously. Mm-hmm. Let it creep in there mm-hmm. so that nobody is surprised mm. when it yeah. pops up. Mm. When you've got proof to say, but mm-hmm. I've ticked my boxes mm. though. Yeah, sure. What I've realized yeah, that, you know, men yeah. charge yeah. or their pay situation they charge based on their potential versus Tina we charge yes. based on our ability the to feel now. The now you know what I mean yeah. that is so true and I think one of the things I've learned is at some point in your life someone will <laughs> I don't use undercharge the, l- the wrong yeah. language mm. but someone will mm-hmm. under, I mean underpay you yeah because yeah, yeah, everyone can, comes also. from a point of what can I do to use you now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And by the time you realize already, they knew that they were actually mm-hmm. messing up with you in the first place. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No one underpays you without them knowing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They already know. They know. Mm-hmm. They know mm-hmm. that they're underpaying mm-hmm. you. They know. Mm-hmm. They but absolutely know. They know. I mean, yeah. and that's a funny part that even though you can go and negotiate, you can sign a contract, they, or, they knew when they you know. accepted. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I think the challenge with us as women, um, you find yourself sometimes to say, Ish, you know what? Also, we're just it's here. Let me just sign. No, we are. Men are better oh hunters goodness. than females are. This yeah. We are too I emotional, guys. No, we are just timid. Mm. I don't even think mm. it's emotional. Are we yeah, timid? Yeah, you're right. It might I be are we not timid? timid yes, I think we, we put people. emotions in everything. Mm. Because I recall a time being booked to um, host a particular event and my male counterpart said, okay, well, this is how much I've put on the table. And he said, I hope they're paying you the same fee, right? Oh, wow. uh. And this, I guess, is something that I'm also very appreciative of is mm. that I've always had a circle of people indirectly and yeah. it's more formally mm. who actually assist you to say hold on girl that's not what the are right you color doing money. yeah uh, change the color yeah so, change the know, color yeah of the money exactly um and that's actually worked very favorably for me so the very same day when sure. that particular query came through um obviously it's easy to call clients you talk about it mm. uh, they realize that okay there's some sense of communication and hap- uh, that's happening here in the background uh, and things were able to change but it created a heightened sense of awareness for me now that sometimes 
if I had to do breakfast tomorrow, I'll call you, Danielle. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay, yeah. Oh, be just happy give me a ring. Mm. Yes. Is it green money? Is but it can I do it? Yes. But you know what? Is it money? Is it money? Yeah, yeah. Another problem, and though. You need trusting relationships. They though, don't, people don't do reveal. That. People I've found that the along the way. People don't reveal. Trust. Please, we, we should yeah. not we should not criticize them too much for not mm. revealing. I, I've learned that there's certain things you don't talk about. Yeah. Don't talk about your money. Don't talk about your sex life. Agreed. Mm. And just maybe don't talk about sports and religion mm. with people that you don't trust with mm. your feelings. Certainly. And you can't be I'm, I'm saying it to your point yeah. that yeah. It's, it's a good idea to always refer, you know, but you, you, you are lucky if you've got people around you yeah. who will be able yeah. to to give you that um, yeah. um, mm-hmm. certain um, um, that amount of information, but more people will not because. Mm. But we, if you tell me, to lose those, I already kind of know how much you earn, and that that's how people view mm. it. But you know what it is like when somebody when I don't know at least for me when somebody asks about my money situation, I feel naked because it's like yeah. now you see everything. everything. So now you know what, why do you have that bag? It is make it make sense. Ah. You know what I mean? Now now you're gonna pick apart. Ah, yeah. guys, is that all let's see with that money? You understand? Hey? Got people you. start nitpicking. People are very weird about you know they, they say the devil is in the detail. Yeah. yeah, and money is a detail you don't want the devil <laughs> playing in. No, mm. no, no. You don't want the devil playing in the detail of your money. Like, just keep your bag to yourself. Keep your sex life to yourself. Your mm. opinions about sports and religion in spaces with people that yeah. you can trust mm. with your feelings. I mean, that's my principle. Yeah. That's just it. That's just it. That's because I'm about to don't know well. how to handle that information. Absolutely. I tell you now how much I'm earning here. Mm. Huh? Do you know? You, you, know, I, you don't again, know when it's going to end. The danger is. Mm. Mm. Yeah, the danger is it's going to be in the tabloids. Hey. You understand? <laughs> Mm. You understand? Mm. And you, you raise a very valid point. And I think that's something that we all actually need to internalize. Mm. Um, not only in our professional, but personal capacities yeah. as well, is what our relationship with money is. Mm. Why yeah. does it make you feel naked? Yeah, Why yeah. do you yeah. feel like telling someone, I've been in debt, mm. I've saved and flown hey, 100,000 yes. rand and yeah. tried to make it back. Uh, you know, we all have our financial stories. And I think sometimes we, we hold this great sense of identity to money. True. Um, Based on our experiences. Based on our experiences, yeah. but also, I guess, a fear that the yeah. lives that we live, you yeah. know, people will believe that there's a fallacy behind them. But mm-hmm. it's not. It's a full experience. There are mm-hmm. billionaires who go bankrupt on a day-to-day Absolutely. basis. Absolutely. Yeah. Because, yeah. yeah. because the economy is a crashing. Yeah, I mean, precisely. that's true. You understand. But I do think within the, the professional spaces that we're in, um, we do need to be, number one, more open about it. Yeah. Number two, not hold so much of it to on our I, I so identity. So much value. And value to it. Yeah. So at the end of the day, yeah. the yeah. also Motona, you know, yeah. the respect should follow regardless mm. Yeah. Mm. Of, of, True. you know, whether it's purple money or green money. Absolutely. So, so if you look at HR, right, mm. um, with the most uh, a- recruitment agencies, mm. so corporately, mm-hmm. um, they'll send you off for interviews, blah, 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 blah. Then they'll, if you've been previously employed, they'll want you to submit your previous um, mm. salary. Yeah. Stuff, yeah, and there's right? a way to work around that. Though. Yeah. Yeah. So now there's a benchmark there. They're trying to benchmark. Oh, yeah. You understand? I see, yeah, yeah. They're trying to they're trying to negotiate mm-hmm. not way over but and also not above. way not yeah. like in not between. below, mm. in between, da 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 da. Mm. There is a moment in time where transparency financially is very important. Mm. Like I say, mm. if you're Bob the Buildering mm-hmm. and you're in a solid relationship, we need transparency in yeah. that regard. We need to know what building blocks we're working yeah. with financially. Mm. That's very important. Mm. Can't build in the dark. Yeah. No, of you course. Yeah, yeah. Can't build in the dark. You you, my finances, you your finances. can't build if you don't have the, I mean, enough budget to we, build. Exactly. How, how much mm-hmm. are we building? Exactly. You know? So we, we were saying romantically, we want to do this thing called life. We want to build, buy a house there, land there, and then mm. let's be transparent. Mm. Build trust first before you, you give out this information. Very true. Yeah. And a lot of people are so silly and fickle in their own minds. I will say no to giving you information if you get, uh, you know, handpicked or earmarked to be mm. the next breakfast host. Mm-hmm. And I'll hold back information mm. because somewhere in me yeah. is that bitterness. Oh, mm. yeah. 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 She's going to negotiate on my benchmark. So mm. she's going to now make more than yeah. me. She's mm. mad, this one. Mm. Don't be that person. But also, yeah. what does that do to you? Because yeah, I don't really that. I mean, what does it do? I think people are snacks, eh? So no, very, no very they are. No, people are they snacks. Are. Yeah. Witchcraft I mean, is not really coming to my Ndumba and fetching medicine. <laughs> It you know what it is? It starts ah, with jealousy. It's that, it's that jealousy. I mean, guys, I can I can share my mm. experience. It, for me, it was the first time that I'm on air mm. as a joke. Mm. So I had to look around because, I mean, this, this is what they do. They will ask you, how much do you want to be paid? Yeah. Which I think is also a very trick question because do you want to know how much I want to be paid? I'll tell you how much yeah. I want to be paid. So now we end up going around and checking. Okay, so how much is it an hour? How much is it per show? Mm. Until the day of a contract, I did not have anyone 
even people that I know personally. Sure. I don't even want to hear hourly rates. I'm going <laughs> to give you a figure. <laughs> yeah. I you figure you it out must from make it figure. down for yourself. <laughs> no, exactly. I don't. I, I, also, that's I where they're tricky, I, right? I don't. No. Yeah. This, don't, is, that, this yeah. was the trick. Per hour. No, mm, that's no. your maths and science <laughs> to figure out. Ah, Me. Touch is ka ka nas. Listen, guys. When is what I said to me to be far away per hour. Yeah. I'm going to tell her. I need to when you come, they don't even explain, right? Yeah. Oh, there's an hourly rate and you think, no. And then there is a rate, like mm. a show rate. So I was like, okay, I can't count hourly rates. I don't know, mm. you know. So you give a figure and you say, okay, this is my figure, yeah, um, which is obviously not hourly a show mm. rate. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, you're not even given guidelines to say, okay, work with this or this. As I'm saying, it it was either hourly or show. Sure, I tell you, and it's not even clear even radio. there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. In radio broadcasting, if we were to charge hourly rates as per. Ooh. Club DJ rates. Yeah, yeah. How Ooh. they die? No. Nah. No, they would you die. Don't tell me those club DJs because I might try. No, no, no. Get on that skill. Get on that yeah. skill. No, they would die, mm. die, die. A real death, like a uh, uh, Sianuaba. <laughs> I love it. I love it. No, because no. That's why I'm like, no, let's let's just not have the. Con- yeah, and guys. We, sh- we need to be better hunters for ourselves as yeah, females. Yeah. We need to find that self confidence. Yeah. We can't be timid, man. Mm. But you know what? It, you raise a very valid point because this is just the radio example, right? But yeah. there's obviously a whole new industry and uh, spheres of the economy that yes. yeah. where people are influencers. Yes. Even club DJs, Absolutely. where people are not even charging the same rate, perhaps. Uh, and new sectors that are emerging as well. We yeah. find someone saying, "Oh, I'm a business coach. Okay, mm. but how are you charging this fee versus yeah. that other fee?" Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A- and you're very right. As women, we almost need to be very clear. Number one, not only about the value that you bring to the table. Yeah. Number two, about what industry standard are we going yes. to yeah, set? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that does take the level of trust, yeah. yes. camaraderie, mm-hmm. and the lack of competition to say, look, if paper money is the benchmark, then we should be coining it after that. You mm-hmm. know? But at least we all know what the bare minimum is yes. mm-hmm. that we're all working on. And I think it's, like you say, so critical, especially in the different spaces that we're in. Because if you consider how many people, even in corporates, have yeah. side hustles. I have a few friends who are selling True. candles. And you're like, okay, how much is this going for? Well, I don't know. Joe Malone okay. this, mm. but that company that, and find, sure. find it, girl. Mm. Find that figure and mm. make it work for you. But also find the minimum benchmark. Because mm. I think once we get over that hurdle, Andy, mm. then the pinch perhaps to fight yeah. for more and what you're actually yeah. worth will be much mm. easier. Way yeah. easier. So and true. the thing is, when you're fighting for more, you don't have to be rude about it. Yeah. yeah. I always caution yeah. Sometimes people. you go in there angry because you're thinking, yeah. oh, you, you're taking you me for this. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. 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 But don't people be, do it because they can. That's it. Carry, ca- carry yourself one of that purity that you spoke mm. of much earlier approach a boardroom with purity and mm. humility mm. you'll win mm. but yeah. confidence also here yeah mm. so win for you yeah mm. for you and it's also it's it's you know this thing of placing your value on somebody else's going rate what if you're undercharging on the basis of what it is that you've just been informed on mm. for That's me i always put well. i don't like to to question too much around i've always said dinero what do you want yes mm. what is satisfactory to you yes what world are you trying to build for you? Mm. Mm. How are you going to use this financial resource mm. so we can multiply and you've got gaps and room and a buffer yeah, for it to multiply? Because it for cannot sure. be based on hands somebody and else yeah, 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 and yeah. somebody mm. else. Because mm. the needs for my life are different. and the yeah. lifestyle that I've built for myself and my children is different from yours and it's different mm. from yeah, yours. Yeah. So I can give you a figure. But is that figure mm. good enough for your world? Mm. You yeah. understand? Mm. And so it's, truly, it's, you yeah. need to it's look at what is important for me. Mm-hmm. Because that's the thing about seeking some... You know when, you, when you're trying to pick fruits from somebody else's garden? Mm. Hey, man. Hey. The danger. Uh, the danger. Hey. Hey, you're, gonna danger you're, gonna, you're, gonna, you're trying to pick roses from somebody else's garden because mm. yours are not blooming yet. But mm. when you're in full season bloom in your own garden, Gabang. you realize that, oh my gosh... I could have waited for mm. these. They're prettier. Yeah. Mm. So true. Because, uh, sorry, just to add on, mm. you said something very important because you could be benchmarking on somebody's rate, which is not even the best rate mm. to begin with. Mm. Yeah. So it also means you are also pulling yourself back there. Yeah. <laughs> You're still right. You're still, you still have not mm-hmm. been paid for your worth. Mm-hmm. So we're in the same industry, right? But within this industry, I'm bringing my industry of mm. radio. Yeah. Right, because we all broadcast differently. Mm. Mm-hmm. So I'm not going to benchmark on your format yeah. and your yeah. industry of radio. Very yeah. I'm going to benchmark on what I do mm. in that three hours mm. and mm. what I bring in that three hours and what I'm able to achieve in that three hours. Yeah. So we're all DJs, right, yeah. at a club. We all MC. We all yeah. do this. We do that. Yeah. Like we produce TV shows, right? Mm. But there's a DNA that you have mm. 
that is okay, great, beautiful. Three luxury brands yeah. sitting here. Yeah. Makosa, another one, and another mm. one. Makosa is not going to charge on the basis of LV. Mm. No, Makosa must charge on the basis of their brand Them. DNA. And what yeah. their value is. No, but. Yeah, there's a rich Nisi, then there's. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So you would rather negotiate f- from the top down instead of negotiating from the bottom up. up yeah. You know? No, always oh, start as high as you because can. Because so that's can a problem. Solid. We start here, Can't and obviously mm. it's hard to keep, to go mm. higher once we've already started here. Mm. And that's our challenge, I think, yeah. as women. And we, we are afraid to value. start here. Don't base yeah. it on potential, but yeah. substantiate your value. As like now, now, now. Yeah. And what you yeah, bring. Like now. Mm. Yeah. Definitely like now. But also because of these capabilities, this is also what I know that Absolutely. I can unlock. This is yeah. what I can yeah. bring yeah. Uh, to the table. So solid. I want to go back to a time, Dinewa, when you started DJing, right? I remember there was this big hoo-ha. Dinewa can DJ. And what I've seen is that we all, you know, play different pockets of the industry. You yeah. know, we don't all do one thing. However, once you occupy that new role, the competence is questioned, right? Mm. However, with, you know, with our male counterparts, it's like, oh, he's doing this, let's support, oh, let's and go. and you just move with the flow. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> How did you deal with that part of your life? And I want to come to you mm. yeah. as well. Well, I'll move from DJing to just mm. being the first female breakfast anchor mm. in 25 years of yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Right? That too, yeah. No, 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 people don't like that. Mm. Yeah. Why sure. must why must Dineo be a breakfast anchor? Hey. No, mm. now she's toxic. She's abusing. So mm. why where? Which 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 bre- which nine five nine breakfast show are you listening to? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that part. I mean, this? really? Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. I, no, no. Dineo, go, go. can I speak? Yeah. Can I speak? Which Dineo? is the tenets of radio? So for me, <laughs> really? like the 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 respectful way in which Sol mm-hmm. approaches our conversations mm. by raising a hand. Anybody raises a hand. Yeah. Even in a meeting, you Absolutely. raise a hand. I mean, I do that. I, I co-host with my husband. You raise I do it hand. all the time. Yeah. Because understand. I don't want us to sound funny on air yeah. because we're talking at the same time. Absolutely. Yeah. So sometimes when I've got a point, I go like, so yeah. yeah. You no, know, no, no. Why? Thank why, God, why, no why? one is recording our show. You understand. <laughs> so it's in Uguti Dina was a female breakfast anchor for, in 25 years of Kaya. Mm. She, here she is. Why her? Mm. No, no, no. You're not going to tell me that I'm less than my male counterpart Absolutely. when I'm better. Mm. No, Dali. Come on. This anointing. You can't debate with Nkunungulu that at this point in time in my life, this is that part. I'm right choosing now. her. Yeah. She's that going to part. occupy this space. Mm. And if it hurts you, heal. I got but, now. But you, with yeah. the DJ, if it hurts him. you that I'm multi-talented, Come on. multi-faceted, Ew. and confident, deal. And if a it fast hurts learner. You, and yeah. a fast learner. Yeah. If it hurts you mm. that she can survive an abusive, toxic marriage and speak about her pain from a mm. place of confidence, come out, heal, yeah. baby, because I got now. I'm never going to address anything from a place of weakness mm. and disempower myself to make you feel comfortable. Come Baby, on. I am alive. Come on. Live wire. Come on. Full on. Come I yes, wake up in the I morning and <laughs> <laughs> live wire does what? Like, nah, it's a lie. Don't go on that. You know <laughs> so when a woman is confident, it's a problem. Yeah. yeah. Mm. What must we be? It's you a are problem. bully what when you're confident. I will never yeah. be arrogant, but I will put you fast in your place when you try to come at me mm. with my skill set. Mm. I work for the skill. Yeah. I, I don't want us to have a debate. Mm. Just listen to the show. Give it some time. Just hear me play. Give it some time. Mm. Just watch me do my thing. You'll understand why the anointing. Mm. You'll understand why the chosen one. Mm. Just sh- watch her. Just mm. watch her. You'll understand why God chooses certain Come people, on. puts them in a certain oh, place yes. at a certain season. Mm. Because I'm a vessel. There's a message that needs to be delivered through me Come on. now in this season. Come on. It's fine, baby. You know what I do? I'll tell you, ne? Mm. My cons? Mm. Mm. Me, when the fire is burning there. Mm. Yeah. Ah, Shem, I know time? peace. I sleep, eh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know peace. We are you. Lala. She your rest. <laughs> because I, no, I, I rest. Yo, I guys. Yeah. I rest. When the fire is burning there on the social media, they denote toxic, denote this. Mm. I mean, I, I'm having the best, most beautiful conversations with the man I'm falling in love with. <laughs> yes. I'm playing with my children. Yeah. I'm on the phone with my mom. Mm. And the happy man. Fall in love with. Ni zaukala nina because ni nes pains. I equal my pain. Mm. But God, okay, guys, mm. Dinero says... <laughs> but how do you not take that on? That's 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 the key. Because yes, you have access to it. Yeah. But how do you not take that on to doubt what it is that you have? You know what I mean? You, you can't see like make it Like make it affect mm. you, yeah. you mean? Yeah. You can't. And I think... So my journey's been very different, right? Because... Mm-hmm. Uh, 
initially my role was actually going to be you know a general news reporter and mm. i definitely decided against that or actually just being a bean counter in an office and i've been very lucky that in my career path they've always been senior white men who've mm. actually molded and shaped me within the business mm. environment and mm. of course given that what the topic or subject matter that i deal with like any other industry yeah. deals with facts with figures yes. you know you need to be very numbers, accurate yeah. in numbers um, so you need to do your research. Mm. You need to put in your A-game. Mm. Um, otherwise, people will call you out quick, fast yeah. when you're yeah. misquoting and misstating mm-hmm. things that actually have a significant influence. You know, we say on the markets, but the mm-hmm. truth is it influences our pension yeah. funds. And Absolutely. if people are going True. to lose money, it's True. a big deal. Absolutely. So I found that given that kind of cover, given that kind of support mm. and constant mentorship from the leaders that I've been hap- uh, lucky enough to mm. work with, as soon as people hear you speak your truth, mm-hmm you know it it makes them fall back so in as much as folks might look at me and say well you're young enough to be my daughter what do you know about the company results that i'm telling you about yeah. you know but once you're able to validate your argument uh-huh. and come yeah. with facts and actually invest in your art mm-hmm. the work does the, the speaking the talking absolutely, absolutely. The and, and, and being you. on top of your game i find yeah. is come women to the world well. that's why there's exactly. no clap back in mm. me yeah, yeah. Exactly. that's why i will you'll never find me right responding. now ever mm. responding mm. to mm. any attacks mm. so yeah. on my mm. integrity on my delivery delivery on anything mm-hmm. babe you know what mm. the numbers don't lie yeah. come on yeah and when the time Runs has lapsed mm. yeah for the numbers to tell the truth mm. no 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 there's no argument there. mm. there's no argument mm. there. you, you, the always, revenue yeah. doesn't lie the listenership mm. figures don't mm. lie mm. right when my name is put on a flyer for a DJ gig, it does not lie that people will come, mm. flock they want mm. to vibe with this despite one yeah. because the noise. She, mm. despite the noise. Yeah. You if you are going to live your life seeking mm. external validation, mm-hmm. you are going to crumble because you're going to find yourself uh, posting things that are so unnecessary and detrimental yeah. mm. to your entire structure because you're always throwing yourself in the public court. Sure. Do the work mm. and allow yeah. them yeah. show up. Be on yeah. top of your game. Be consistent. Yeah. Be consistent. Yeah. Mm. The, the, noise will, the noise, the noise will, will quieten eventually. down eventually. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Eventually. Okay. Ladies, I want to wrap up. We're running out of time. So I gave you guys all homework, right? Oh, you did. Hi, abanga funda ngana. Hi, you got homework. You did give us homework to write a letter. Yes. So I didn't write oh a letter. Oh my gosh, okay. I only saw it today. <laughs> I didn't write a letter, but I want to have an honest conversation okay. with my future self okay. spontaneously. Perfect. All right. Oh wow. Does anybody want to start? So basically, I asked you guys to write a letter to your future self. You can pick it an age or a time that you want to address to yourself. Anybody want to start? I, I can write. start. You can start, start okay. I can start. Don't Oh, you me. wrote one. Print Shoo. out your son. Yeah. In letter Shoo. writing. Justified. Hi, Namaste. you're making us feel bad now. Ah, I want to make you feel good. God. Okay, so. Dear future Andy, I hope that you are not fielding another pandemic because, wow, you've been through it, sis, because <laughs> anybody that's time. I'm so proud of you for conquering your Achilles of feeling and playing small. And I'm proud of you for letting love in as well. Allowing yourself to be loved fully, 360. You remember how much you struggled with that? And look at you now. Thank you for be p- being patient with yourself and not self-sabotaging this beautiful love that you have and manifesting. And thank you for believing that you are worthy of it as well. I take it that you're a mom now and you're doing such a great job at it. And I'm really pretty sure that all of them remind you of mom and dad in some way. And the grandkids really have that way in the Macondwana clan, right? I know that you are pretty much hard on yourself as a parent and I think uh, and think that you are not doing great, but you are. Please pa- pause and just enjoy them. I'm so proud of you for conquering that badge of failure that you held that was your master's and went on to do your PhD. And if you didn't do it, I'm pretty sure you got an honorary one anyway. So either way, hey, Dr. Magondwana. Uh, please remember that as long as you're alive, there's always opportunity for you to grow, to start afresh, to conquer a dream. So if you haven't done that dream of ours, please know that it's not too late. It will never be. You and your siblings have elevated the Magondwana na- name well mm-hmm. beyond anyone's imagination. And you really showed that if you want to win, you put my gondwana in. Oh yes! Thank you. That is so pretty. Yes, Thank that you. is so pretty. I, I mean, you have to do more. Her ass is your mouth. La la la! Get the shoe. Very beautiful. Yeah. Even if it's not a letter, it's a conversation. Hi, it's not a letter because I didn't write anything. Who <laughs> <laughs> you go, babe? Whoa! <laughs> what conversation would you want to have to your future self, and also which future self? Ten oh, years, fifteen goodness. years. So I always think of myself as um, who. Like, I want to channel Oprah's life. Come on. You know those old ladies who wear scarves? I'm practicing it. Yeah. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> mm. Regal, 
So money is not a problem. Come Never on. Never that. Yes. In fact, it just opens up more options and opportunities. Mm. Family and love is the foundation mm. of everything in my life. The decisions that I take. I am not only a fantastic mother yes. and wife, maybe grandmother. So this is like 50 plus. Cute. Yeah. I love um, it. And most of all, I would have ticked off a lot of the goals and ambitions that I would like to attain. I love that. Um Gosh, if what I age are we in the 50s? This is like 55. Okay. Mm -hmm. Name is, job once so you can hold yourself like accountable. This is like Judy Masana, Judy mm -hmm. Gamini vibes. Yes. 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 Wendy Luhabe vibes. Mm. This oh, is yeah, Oprah yeah. Winfrey mm. vibes. I can see that. Right? So there's a book yeah. in there. Yeah. A vineyard too. Come on. Oh, yes. Yeah. Why not? Right. <laughs> a garden. Yeah. yeah. I like that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I like that. Oh, Judy. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to hold you accountable. sounds as great as yours. When you were 50, I want to come to your vineyard. Please yeah. do. I'm going to hold you accountable on that. Please okay. do. With your grandkids too. Yeah. My grandkids. See? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, This is me at 74, right? Sure. Ah, Dinewa, your tattoo still looks so amazing. Yes. Snatched. <laughs> I love your fire still. You are such a well-rounded, brave, old lady. Mm. And I just, I, I, I'm, I'm in awe of you. Like, I really think you are one for the books. Sure. Aww. I really think the manner in which you love and the manner in which you pour out, the manner in which you move, the manner in which you have built economically for yourself, for your children, your mm. grandchildren. You've been so patient with every process and the wealth that you have right now, right now, you deserve it. Come on. The love that you have right now, right now, you deserve it. Mm. Look at your kids. Mm. You were a great friend to them. Nice. Mm. Yeah, don't die yet. They still need you. <laughs> <laughs> Give them until at least 85. Yeah. You know? <laughs> You've done well, Dina. Well, you really have done well. And that dream that you had of building that empire that's giving Mr. Price a run for its money. Come on. Yeah. It's well happening. Well done. It's happening. Well done. Look at yourself living in Hong Kong. Come how on, Hong Kong. How expensive and how you don't feel a pinch. Oh, hey. Yes. Yes. That's what yes. we need. Yeah. I love Explore it. that lineage. You look like them. Maybe there's part of you that has <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Miyagi vibes. You, you never know. know. You never know. You oh, never yes. Know. Yeah. Keep that love alive with this man of yours. He's a kind one. He's oh. a very peaceful one. Mm. Keep that peace going. Mm. And also, never stop ever on a rainy day ever even at the age of 74 having the best sex of your life <laughs> and running Shine. outside naked in the rain <laughs> with your mother <laughs> with a bottle of wine I love it absolutely oh, I love no, it I you're, love <laughs> you're such a beautiful freaking old it. lady I love, I love you and I'm proud of you oh, oh, I can't so wait to cute. experience at 74 I love it you I can love it. where to explore sex Ex experience her at 74 oh I thought you said sex, sex at 74. 74 mine's gonna be great no I, I can't hey, wait to see that's it. scary yeah. though because my mom passed away at 74 sure and i couldn't imagine her so now you're making me think you're making me go there mm. and think of my mom at 74 having mm. sex i think because my mom's like a live wire oh. just like i am Is so it? i see it, so that's it. <laughs> i'm like yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. it must happen ah, yeah, yeah, i love yeah. her yeah. <laughs> who are we addressing in the future we we are addressing my myself at mm -hmm. 65 65 uh, finally i get to live my dream mm -hmm. of traveling the world yeah always wanted, always dreamt about it, always wanted a job that would allow me to travel. Mm. So it's 65, old as I am, I'm finally living my dream. Yes. My kids are all over the world, living their best lives. Mm. I probably see them once or twice a year because that's how they wanna live their lives. Mm. But I look forward to meeting my grandkids mm. and spending time with my grandkids. And I think that's one thing that um, I will look forward to at that age. Mm. Um, but I see myself sitting outside, um, living in a small apartment, because that's my dream, live in a small apartment with my husband, drinking wine, yes. being that old couple. Yes, to drinking wine. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Be that old couple, man, that will still take walks, mm. um, you know, um, in the afternoons, and just living our lives as old as I would be. Mm. I see myself still writing um, at 65, publishing books, um, international books this time around but that's where I, I see myself at age 65 mm. still living my life like it's golden Love it. at that age and just enjoying life oh. and my grandkids obviously that's a part I always mm. look forward to spending mm. time with my grandkids 
I love it. Yeah. I love it. Ladies, thank you so much for being a part of the first ever Girl Let's Talk roundtable. Thank Yay. you so, so much. Thank, thank you for being you vulnerable too. and just open as well because I know it's not That's easy as well. That's where the danger has been. Yeah. 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 We always said people's, people's names. names. <laughs> so thank you so when much. When I met. Really. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And someone I'm said, still waiting for that the name. men I'm falling in love with. When it comes to cameras, I want the name. And I'm like, oh, okay. Yes, I am falling in love with the man. I love him. I am. He's such a peaceful dude. No, no. But you know what I love? about you mm -hmm. you love love i absolutely and you're falling every time and, and i love, love that that, that is vulnerability <laughs> you that you're is telling is she's open. falling all the time yeah one it's good though wait in that way i got oh can i why in the way chase is i got three new why guaza get all in get out over I love it. Do you know how hard that is? For me, that's probably one of the hardest things because I remember for my most first women, yeah. dating experience, my first date, my first guy was a narcissist. So that experience in itself. Yeah. So, so one month, I didn't even need, I had one month and I stopped dating for eight years. <gasps> Oh yeah, eight oh, years indeed. Like, for so long. The species is done for me. Yo. And then afterwards, then I, I jumped right back no, in. So girl, the fact you that you're able heal. to do that. La Lela. Do you I give you the chances, Hashem. No, I was gone for eight years. So I'm but God, I you know what I like? Yeah, please, please. Lela, you must teach me. Because me, I'm like, I am not. No, but that is so good. I want you to learn. You are worthy and you are very deserving. Amen. So if you take anything away from today's conversation, I think own that. And put yourself first. from a place in the last eight years of being defensive because you wanted to protect what you had. But open yourself up. But no. Love is beautiful, guys. Yeah. And also being accountable to the fact that I also chose to no, be but with this person. Gracefully yeah. so. Gracefully yeah. so. Yeah. Don't Absolutely. beat yourself yeah. up. Absolutely. Yeah. That there's, for me, I just had to recognize that there's machinery in there yeah. that would uh, bring me close to these people. And therapy helps. So, so your experience <laughs> with like literally ditching relationship mm -hmm. mm -hmm. for like eight years, mm -hmm. I think I'm there with marriage. You yeah. think so? Yeah, I think I'm there Still with marriage. I, right will, I will fall in love. Mm -hmm. Do I want to be a part of this institute called marriage? Mm. I don't think so. Mm. I don't mm. want to feel stuck because yeah. I feel like love is an energy. Mm -hmm. I want to feel like every day through thick and thin and through all these obstacles mm -hmm. and these amazing moments yeah. of being a witness in your life, mm -hmm. I choose you. Yeah. I'm not stuck with you. Yeah. There's something about the concept mm -hmm. of the abuse that I come from mm -hmm. and that short-lived marriage of mine. It just made me realize that this institute for me I was stuck. Yeah. And yeah. now I have to sure. unstuck myself. Mm. Yeah. It, so was, it, 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 it was the person it was the person that you were with. Not the institute. Yeah. I'm I'm sure with the other person you'll feel differently. Mm. It was the person. He must just not respect <laughs> <laughs> fluidity. Exactly. Okay. Ah, two years no, time. No, no, no. no. Not just one. Yay. One thing about the two years time. Yay. And then two. I probably Jennifer two. Lopez. Yeah, yeah. No, I love seven that times you. over. <laughs> no, you must because why? no, but life is to be enjoyed, girl. So nah, thank, thank you, well. ladies, so much. I really appreciate You're this. Welcome. That wasn't as so, bad. So much. I learned a lot. <laughs> I learned you. a lot.